All right, guys, welcome back to the channel, the Vero Akodi. Today, we're going to be taking a look at this aircraft, seeing how it flies, seeing how it handles. We'll jump inside it. It's a little bit quieter in here as we have a giant plane taxi in this us. We're currently in the Bahamas. This uh, plane is a pretty cool plane. It's an old school 1940s aircraft in uh, Czechoslovakian language, I believe. Um, it has a cruising speed of 19. Uh, 97 knots, a max altitude of 19,400 feet, six hours of duration, 1,100 nautical miles. Today, we're going to take it for a little bit of a test flight and review it, see how it flies, see how it handles, see what it's all about. So um, we're sitting here on the Bahamas. Let me go ahead and open that hatch up. I think that plane has passed us now. We can go ahead and uh, get this plane started up. We got a checklist with this aircraft, which really does help since... We don't um, understand the language, so we'll just go ahead and follow the checklist and get everything going here. Now, if you put that on, it will secure the aircraft, okay? So if you have trouble getting the wheel chucks and, and the weights off, make sure that you remember to unselect this button here, okay? Security aircraft. So we need that off in order to get our flight started. And... Uh, we're going to go ahead and turn that off next. We got to make sure the flight handles are free and control, which they are, and correctly working. And now we open the canopy. We already done that. And the next step is the battery here. If you look here too, you can see the language difference. Uh, well, the battery, uh, you know, it pretty much does help you when you click over it. It will say it, but as you can see, everything's a little bit off. Um, so we'll go ahead and check the fuel it's on the selected on the left side of the tank there check and uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this plane started these are fully forward I think it has a, a medium and uh, I, I'm not sure what this all does just yet but um, let's open up the cow flaps in the meantime put the rich fully rich Okay, propellers are both up, so I guess that is good. I don't really know. That is the initiation switch uh, master, which is on. We put both of the magnetos on. I already did that, so they're both fully up. So this is the position it should be in, and then we'll put the fuel. We gotta prime these. We'll do it three times on that side. And we'll go down to the fuel pump here. We'll put the fuel pump on. And we'll start up the uh, engine on the left here. Got a lot of smoke. Put the uh, brakes on there. Alright, and we'll go ahead and do basically for the same side. We'll put the pump on. And we'll prime this. And we'll hold that. I like the sounds. It's pretty cool. We have the flaps up. Okay, positioning lights uh, are going to come on here. And beacon light. And, uh, yeah, the, there's two different versions of this aircraft. There is a 14 and a 45. The 45 comes with the navigational package on the inside. We'll check out and we'll show you deliveries at the end of this video. Let's go ahead and close up the canopy and we'll get out of here. We're going to um, see how this thing flies and handles. I'm going to put the prop propellers forward here. Let's go check it out. I think we have to um, gauge this too. I'm not sure exactly how to do that. Let me see if it does have a checklist for that real quick. In the meantime, let's uh, see. Boop, boop, boop. No. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, avionics is on, security is off, that is off, what is that, I wonder if that's something to do with it, oh yeah, look, okay, so that has to be on for that to work, and now we should be good, I didn't get that last time because um, that's the learning curve of this aircraft, you kind of have to know the switches and what they're supposed to do, which I don't exactly know, um, 
So, yeah, it can be somewhat uh, tough to figure out. All right, let's go ahead and put a little bit of power in there. And we're going to taxi out and uh, see how this thing flies. Okay. All right. Doesn't handle too bad on the ground, but there is a, a nose wheel lock which we have to turn. Um, I think you turn them off for now, right? And then when it uh, has. I feel like we're stuck here. There we go. Whoops. Uh oh. Sorry about that. It sounds pretty good. It's definitely. Feel, it doesn't feel. It feels a little bit Microsoft Flight Simmy with the uh, way it moves around. If you're wondering how much this plane costs, I think it's a total of $15 usually. I got it on sale for about $10, so, you know. For 10 bucks, why not? I thought it was a cool looking plane and it would also be good to get some sightseeing views out of this thing since it is very wide windows. It looks really nice on the inside. They have other ones that have really good interior too with the white stitching and the blue seats. It looks really nice. I did a live stream with one of these and we flew around, um, I think it's the Viz Khalifa, the world's tallest building in Dubai. And so far, so good, though. Looks like we got a little guy taxiing out there. It's a little shaky on the, I'm not going to lie, it's uh, kind of shaky on moving around when you're taxiing. I'm just moving a little bit. I mean, as you can see. And it's jumping around a lot. These are your views with it. So it's not too bad, but it's very, very shaky. I don't like it. <laughs> I mean, I don't like that. Oh, you got to kind of get used to the feel of it as a tail dragger. Let me see if I hit the brakes hard. It's hard to stop. It jumps up at the very end. So it does. It doesn't flip over on on top, which is nice. And it's very beautifully modeled on the inside. It looks really clean and nice. I mean, really can't complain about that. Looks like there's a Mooney in front of us. About to take off. I'm just going to line up and wait behind him. Let him do his thing. Alright, now, before I take off here, I'm going to lock the nose wheel. I heard this is a very stable aircraft to fly, so... Alright, let's go for it. There we go. I'll put one notch of flaps. Oh, we're already coming off the ground there. Holding the stick back. There we go. And we're up! It's definitely heavy on the rotation. Let's put the flaps up. Very stable so far, though. I like the animation. Alright. Let me trim up a little bit here, and we'll put the wheels up. Let me... Kind of curious to see how that looks. Gear is up. Not bad. So far, I like it. I like that it's very stable. It's pretty quiet on the inside, too. Beautiful day here in the Bahamas. We got real weather on. We'll just do a little bit of a circuit today, see how this thing does. There goes that Mooney. So far, so good. It feels all right. It's a little bit heavy. I'm pulling back, so I'm going to see if I can trim it out and see if, if this thing has a good trim. Let's see. I'm trying to get it trimmed out here. I want to see if I can get it to fly on its own. It's still tilting a little bit slightly to the left with that engine. Yeah, so it, you can trim it flat, but it, it's going to still keep pulling to the left. 
Well, not bad. I think we're doing about a hundred, almost a hundred knots or so. I'm gonna give it full and see what it does if I give it full uh, throttle here. Really, it's not going any faster, even with full throttle. Okay, let's try some stalls with it. I, I think we're we're about 1,900 feet, so I'm going to go ahead and start pulling it back slightly here. And we'll do a power on stall, and then we'll try power off. I'm kind of curious how the flight characteristics work with this aircraft. It's pretty stable, I got to say. For now, like it's really, really doing well on flying. It doesn't feel that... Um, it's really solid. It's a little iffy on the taxi on the ground, but in the air, it feels good. And there's our stall warning going. And I feel it's starting to pull to the right. And I'm going to keep pulling back and see. Okay, and it dropped. Alright. So let's recover. Not bad. Okay, now I'm going to do it again. Power off. And pull back. Just curious to see how this thing handles. Let's see. Okay, it's starting to pull to the right. There's your stall. Nose, and now it went to the left that time. Alright. I'm going to recover here. The flaps are all the way up. We're going to try again in a turn. We'll turn over the ocean here. Go ahead and pull back back try to give you guys a better view there and it dipped again okay let's see what happens if we do it let me recover here I'm gonna do one more to the right and then we'll see what else this thing can do just curious we're gonna test out the limitations of this aircraft hopefully I don't crash it in this but and that dipped okay now we're upside down here all right I'll put the power back in here let's see if we can do um, a loop with it so I'm gonna just push the nose down here and then we're gonna pull back Okay, so you can kind of do a loop with it. That's funny. Can it turn all the way over? Let's see. No, it really doesn't like turning over. Okay, so that's not a thing that it likes. But as, as far as a flying and sightseeing aircraft, it's pretty stable. Very, very stable. Whoa, that's a close-up. You can really get close up to a lot of these things, huh? So it's not bad. It's not a bad airplane. I guess if you want to have a bit of fun and just fly around, cruise around, as you can see, we, we got a very good view of the Bahamas and the beach here. I mean, it's really good plane for visual. And it's slow flyer. You can kind of cruise around and just see what you want to see. Really easy and fun plane to fly. I like it. I like it. And you can't beat it for 10 bucks. I mean, why not? You know? If this is the kind of plane you like, this is not bad at all. I wonder... I don't know where our airport went. We'll go ahead and turn. I think it's over there somewhere. It's not bad. I think this is uh, the switch to the right tank it's not a bad airplane I like it let's see what it looks like at night I don't think there's any lighting inside here at night doesn't look like there is 
just that little dome light, but you can't really see the instruments, so I guess you won't be able to fly this at night without the other one. The other one, I think, has the GPS, so there's our runway there, so let's go ahead and turn real weather on and give it a shot for landing and see how it, see how that does. <clears throat> I like it though, it's not bad, and it's very crisp and clean on the inside, like it really looks very well modeled, <clears throat> but it's not bad, I like it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, if this is something you guys like or um, don't like, I would love to hear your opinion about it. Alright, let's go ahead and see what the gear looks like coming down. Whoops. <laughs> I was too fixated on the gear there. Alright, let's put a notch of flaps in. Let me get back on track with the runway. There we go. This is your uh, meter here, the C. Um, which is weird, it almost looks like a vertical up and down. But it's actually your uh, autometer. Or your barometric pressure. Alright. The animation is a little bit weird on that though. But it's not bad overall I guess. Alright let's try to get a better view here so we can try to land this thing without screwing it up too bad. Curious to see how it goes with the landing. I pull out some more power. Definitely a little bit high and a little fast. All right, I'm just gonna keep pulling the power out. It's not bad. All right, trim up here. Let's see. There we go. Not too bad. <laughs> it's saying we're stalling. We're on the ground. <laughs> Not too bad at all. Oh. Let's go ahead and... Uh... It's cool with that nose lock. It really does help. Okay, we could turn that off. And now we'll be able to move the plane around. So that does help a lot, but you, I guess you need to be on the center line if you're going to be using that tail lock, because otherwise it will just kind of throw you around if you're using it. So very nice though. It's not bad at all. I like it. They come with a couple different ones as well too. What do you guys think of it? I mean, it's not the prettiest plane, but it definitely... Definitely a cool aircraft, that's for sure. It has, like, a, a very old-school vibe to it, like a museum piece. Something you probably see at, like, a old-school aircraft show. Definitely cool, though. I like it. I like the sounds. I like the modeling. Not exactly my style of aircraft to fly, but we'll have to find some use for it. It'd be cool, for sure, to fly this thing around. I feel like this would be a really good plane if you wanted to go sightseeing, you know? Definitely, definitely cool aircraft. Alright, let's go taxi over to the apron here and shut it down. I bought this plane um, not that long ago, Oops, and uh, it was a pretty cool airplane. I just uh, wanted to see what it was all about. You see, that's the only thing uh, when you brake, at the very end of the braking, it uh, does that. So that's the only thing that kind of stinks about it a little bit. The animation for the shutoff. It's 
not too bad. Not too bad at all. Well, if you guys um, are new to the channel, thank you so much for watching. We are Aviation Enthusiast Channel. We're going to be doing a lot of things on this channel besides Microsoft Flight Sim in the future. And uh, I just want to give a thanks to each and every one of you guys who have supported my channel. I really do appreciate it. I like to try to buy these planes and show you them so that you can see if it's something you'd be interested in buying. And uh, if not, at least you don't waste your money. But this is a pretty cool plane. I would definitely say it's it's worth $10 for sure. I've seen worse and I've seen better, but this is not bad at all. All right. Last thing I want to show you real quick here is just a couple of deliveries and the two different models that come with it. And then we'll wrap this video up. But um, let's see here. Okay, these are some of the liveries with this one. This is the 45 model of it. And here is the 145, which I've done a live stream with. This does have the... Um, GPS inside of it so if I'll put it on the ground and just show you really quickly here what that looks like and uh, then you'll have a little bit of a better understanding what you get when you do buy this aircraft and that's it come on come on Microsoft Flight Sim you could do it. it takes a while for this thing to load up sometimes all right okay come on <laughs> Anyway, if you guys are enjoying this video and you stayed for this long, consider smashing the thumbs up. All right, here we go. There you go. So you got both of the models of this and you have an autopilot, which does work with um, our aircraft, which is pretty cool. Look, I'll show you. See, so you have the Bravo throttle quadrant. This is going to work, which is fantastic news. If you want to do a flight this one also has a window here which i thought was pretty cool and this is what this one looks like so not bad not bad at all pretty similar it has all the same features it's just a little bit different of a startup um, i personally like this one better than the other one and as you can see even the modeling of the seats are way nicer so yeah this is more of my favorite one it's a little bit easier to fly in this one than it is the other one but there you have it ladies and gentlemen i hope that helps i hope you have enjoyed this video and uh, i will see you guys in the next one until then god bless dustin diga peace thanks for watching bye now